Hey, what's up, guy? Guys, my name is Keenan. And anyways, ye yesterday I did a I did a running meet, and it was a three k race. So that's about like one point eight miles, and I did around fourteen minutes, and I was about I was like thirty fifth place out of seventy. So that's pretty good half. I mean, before I was more towards the the end, but anyways, like a. This wasn't a 5k race, but like about a month ago, I couldn't even do a 5k without stopping, but now I can, I can do that, like pretty easily, I mean it's still hard, but recently I did like a 10k without stopping, but really, I mean, it, I have to like, it's six times a week, it's a lot, but, it, um, if you real, if you really practice stuff, things, you, you can, you can, practice things you you can like achieve them anyways um i'm right now i'm on the i just finished the third towel so let me show you that so here it is so yeah i have to figure i have to figure out what i'm gonna what color schemes i'm gonna do for the fourth one what I do for that is I just like use my computer and um and use like a drawing app and just like put like the lines for um the the blue and yellow lines for the warp and then I put other colors to the weft and see what go what colors go together. That's how that's how I did the the brown and Run um red one with the, that was the weft, but anyways let's get let's get into the video today I'm gonna be showing you um five years of of my we weaving so like what when I started which uh, I started with like a ten by ten weaving loom so it was really small so I really just went up from there but anyway let's get into it anyways decide to um do it on my bed because it's a, like a long like surface so I can like show you the whole thing without like moving into the wall, wall or something so let me show you the first one so this is when it all started this was like a this is a, a doodle crate 10 by 10 frame I mean I don't I don't I don't have all my weavings some of them I don't know where they are and some of them like like I gave them to people. But anyway, that's my first, the first one I ever did. Ten by ten frame. Then I moved on to a bigger, bigger loom, to, um, twenty by twenty three. My mom framed this one, but here's that. That one. A lot of the the ones I did in this loom, I don't I don't know where they are, so I only have a couple of them. And this is a scarf. They made my mom. Anyway, yeah. Scarf that I made my mom. And then I... And then from there I moved on to um, a rigid head loom, 32 inch rigid head loom because this one I just... I just stitched the t pieces together. See, right there. So this is three pieces. This scarf is three pieces. So I... So I started off with this. Like a really thin piece. This thing. Start off that. And then I did like, and then I did. Did like th this one. This one's a little curved. I did. I use like different threads. 
but then have the the right tens different tens in each so try through type try and error. And then this one the these ones are all like plain weed, but here's another one. This one's long, so I'm gonna curve it back out like that. So that, there's that one, and then I and then I used two heddles in the rigid heddle loom to make to make this to make this to make these kinds of patterns. I just made a I just like made these up by just like. Do random stuff. So that's that. I'll show you the whole thing. This is one that I made my mom. It's like a scarf. It's like really thin. I didn't have really have that much thread left for this, this white thread left. So that why that's why there's not that much. So there's that one. Here's another one that I made. I don't really like the co this color combination I used right here. I mean, around this time I like I tried I figured it out like like what warp I think uh, what I used. I didn't like I did random colors for the west, so it's not really this these ones aren't really that planned out. I don't really like that, but there's other parts of it that's better. This one's that you there was I put um, weft floats. So let me just lay this down so you can see it better. Here's the part that I use like a gold to put blue around it. So that's cool. Um, I'm good, about to show you one of my favorite ones. Favorite ones. Um, this one I really like. This one, how I like huge colors. It was like the the weft I did. Um, orange and um, orange and blue. This is like a scarf. I think it's like eight inches wide. It's like kind of Christmas themed, I guess. A lot of these, this yarn I use for this, it's merino wool. Again, I use like two shafts so you can see like the color. I mean the, the thing there. I mean that's, oh here's another one. Oh yeah, this one, you can really see pattern definition on this one. The white with other colors. Very good pattern definition. Very good. As you can see, really good pattern definition. Okay. So I had this I used this like rigid head of them for like, about two years. I mean, this is not all of them. Some of them I don't know where. Some of the weavings I don't know where they are. And some of them I gave to people. Like, like one of the, one of them I gave to my my grandma. I gave um gave her a tape runner. It was twelve feet long. Up until that point, that's the longest um I've done. So that's like four yards. But now with like the project that I'm doing right now, that's like. Six and a half yard warp, so that's mu much longer. But this is like the longest warp I've ever done. Anyways, and then this, and then I got my. This is like when I got my table loom. So there's more like complicated pattern. This is kind of, 
I didn't plan a sock. Since I just got I just wanted to like fiddle around. Different patterns, techniques. I just used the booklet thing. Wait, let me show you like better part of it. Okay. That. And then this bubble, like bubble looking thing, I guess. So I just fiddle around. There's like many patterns in this one. Play that out for you. There. And then the, this is when I started to plan, plan stuff out. So now when I use like the same pattern in here, this is when I started to plan stuff out. This is like one of my best works. Let me lay that out for you. I plan out the weft and warp for this one. There's one side that looks better than the other side. There's so I had maroon stripes. So there's that. There. Now I'll show you the other side. It still looks good, but not as good. And then I did, and then, and then now I'm in my project, and I'm, the next project I'm gonna do like a another scarf, but it's like, I'm gonna use a bulky weight yarn. I don't know how that is gonna go, but hopefully it's going well. Anyway, that's all. Alright guys, there's some weavings I forgot to show you, so let me show you those. So this is one for the whole tw um, 20 inch width of my 20 inch by 23 inch. Uh, the yellow kind of looks weird, but I don't know. Kind of cool, I guess. I like the, the black and white together are really cool. And then I have this scarf. It's pretty, like, pretty plain, but it's, it's not neat. It's just plain weave. I don't know why I put this here. I don't. I don't think I ever would need it. Some of the weavings I put these to make it more secure, but I don't think I need it. I don't know. I mean, it it kind of helped for this one since it's a pretty bulky weight yarn, but it sticks out quite a bit. So that's that one. And there's like a blanket I forgot to show you that, uh, that I did my rigid head on loom, thirty-two inch rigid head on loom. This one's big, big one. There's a string around that I put around it. Let me just show you guys it. So here it is. So there's that. And then there's there's other things that I did. Like I I finger knitted this. And then I I knit a scarf. I mean this took really long. That's why I'm not really knitting. I mean I, I was a big, um, as a beginner I needed this, but I think if I was advanced it would still be, take a while. That's cool, I mean, I, I also knitted a hat, so that's knitted. And then I felted this thing, this is my favorite dinosaur there, Peridon. So that there. Um, anyway, I hope you liked my video. Um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Peace.